we're doing some tests uh, where we're going to be dumping liquid hydrogen and seeing how the liquid hydrogen pools and vaporizes and disperses as it heads downstream. We're going to use this data to validate models and then use those models to update safety codes and standards around liquid hydrogen. So we've had a long-standing safety codes and standards program around hydrogen use at Sandia, and we've managed to use the data that we've collected and the models that we've developed to update safety codes and standards previously. Um, but the understanding around liquid hydrogen is still pretty nascent as it hasn't been used widely in urban settings and commercial uses. But as fuel cell vehicles get rolled out, the liquid hydrogen will be closer to the consumer and the, potentially putting the consumer into, into dangerous situations. Whereas before, liquid hydrogen has been used solely sort of behind the fence for commercial uses only. So the diagnostics we have on the experiment are thermocouples because liquid hydrogen is very cold and we know that as it comes in contact with those thermocouples it will detect the cold temperatures and know that the liquid hydrogen is actually there. We also have thermocouples in the air uh, so the hydrogen as it vaporizes will cool the air as well. We're collaborating with some colleagues from the National Renewable Energy Lab who have some extractive uh, concentration sensors where we can measure the concentration of the hydrogen as it disperses. And then we have several photometrics cameras in place as well, both infrared cameras to measure temperature and as well as visible cameras to see the liquid hydrogen pool as well as the vapor that will condense into the cloud as it disperses downstream. We hope to gather well-conditioned data for understanding how liquid hydrogen will pool and vaporize in, in the case of an accident of liquid hydrogen. So we're doing this test at the blast tube located in the middle of Thunder Ridge. So the blast tube is very unique in that it could both handle the fire and explosion risk from the hydrogen, as well as be configured to have a constant cross flow to give the wind needed for the test. Hydrogen is a great carbon-free energy carrier that can be used for, in a sustainable economy as an energy storage medium. And as it gets installed in more and more places, uh, for example, trucking, truck stops, shipping, potentially even aviation, we need to have robust safety codes and standards in place so that that infrastructure can actually get sited. And so the end result of this work will be those robust safety codes and standards so that we can ensure that that infrastructure is safe and works well for the average consumer.